Welcome to 442 Mind Over Muscle Lab. In this activity, you will explore both the limits of your muscles as well as the ability of your nervous system to exert mind over muscle. Muscle fatigue occurs with prolonged or repetitive use of a muscle group. This exertion causes your muscles to feel weak, often forcing you to stop what you are doing. In this experiment, you will use a device called a hand dynamometer to measure your maximum grip strength and relate this value to the electrical activity of the muscle. We can use this technology to monitor muscle activity over time and see what happens when the muscle begins to fatigue. What do you think? Can you push through the pain and exert mind over muscle? In order to complete this experiment, we need a few materials. First, we need a computer with internet access and Vernier Logger Pro software. We need a Vernier LabQuest Mini, a Vernier hand dynamometer, Vernier EKG sensors, and electro tabs, and a lab journal to record your data. Let's move on to the baseline procedures. Attach three electro tabs to the arm of the subject. Two tabs should be placed on the ventral forearm five centimeters and 10 centimeters from the medial epicondyle, along with an imaginary line connecting the medial epicondyle and the middle finger. Attach the third tab to the upper arm. Attach the red and green tabs to the tabs on the forearm. For this lab, the red and green leads are interchangeable. Attach the black leads to the tab on the upper arm. Have the subject stand, the elbow should be at a 90 degree angle with the arm unsupported. The subject should be turned away from the computer screen. Prior to starting, make sure you zero each one of the sensors. Change your settings to fit what is needed for the lab. Hit the button here. You're gonna change this to 100. You're gonna change this to 100 seconds. Now you're set up and ready for the lab. For the baseline, the subject will squeeze as hard as they can for 80 seconds. Then they'll try to squeeze harder with 20 seconds to go. We are now ready to read the data for this baseline graph. The first thing we're gonna do is position the cursor at zero on the grip strength graph, the one with Newtons for force. We're going to click at the line. We're gonna to go to 20. I'm gonna make sure that this is all the way to zero. This is right on 20 or as close as we can get it. We're going to hit the graph, hit view statistics, and that will give us the mean, which is the number that we're going to use in the data table. You can see the mean for zero through 20 is 66.315. We're gonna to round to the nearest 0 0.1. From the data that we acquired from the lab and from reading the data on Logger Pro, we're gonna fill in the graph. So for zero to 20 seconds for the mean grip strength, we had 66.3 newtons. Now we're gonna find the data for 20 through 40. We're gonna hold down, drag across to 40, hit the graph, hit view statistics, and you can see our mean right here. For 20 through 40, we had 40.0 newtons. We're gonna do the same thing for 40 through 60. I'm gonna hold down, highlight the area, get as close to 60 as possible, hit the graph, hit view statistics, and there is our mean. 40 through 60, we had 
two. We're gonna do the same thing for 60 through 80. We're gonna hold it down and highlight. We're gonna hit the graph, view statistics, and you can see there's the mean. 60 through 80, we had 19.3. Lastly, we're gonna do the same thing from 80 to 100. We're gonna hold down and highlight the area, hit the graph, and view statistics, and you can see here is the mean. For 80 through 100, we had 12.9. Now we're gonna record the statistical information about the EMG data. So we're gonna position the cursor over zero, like we did originally on the force. We're gonna highlight the area, We're going to hit the graph, hit view statistics, and we're going to look at the minimum and maximum MV. We're going to round to the nearest 0.01 MVs. For the EMG readings, we're going to find the max and the minimum for the EMG. For 0 through 20, for the max, we had 1.70, and for the minimum, we had negative 0 0.66. We're going to do the same thing for 20 through 40. Hit the graph, view statistics, and here is our minimum and our maximum. For 20 through 40, we had for a maximum 3.05 and for a minimum, we had negative 1.20. We're gonna do the same thing from 40 to 60. Hit the graph, view statistics, and here's our maximum and minimum. For 40 through 60, we had a maximum of 2.27 and a minimum of negative 0 0.66. And do the same thing from 60 to 80. Hit the graph, view statistics, and here is our maximum and our minimum. For 60 through 80, we had a maximum of 1.65 and a minimum of 0 0.45 and lastly we're going to do from 80 to 100 and we are going to hit the graph view statistics and here is our maximum and our minimum for 80 through 100 we had a maximum of 0 0.99 and for minimum we had a total of negative 0 0.99 Six. Now it's your job to find the difference between these two numbers and put that number in the delta MV column. Now you will choose an experimental variable that you will use to compare to this baseline data. In order to choose a variable, you must choose one of these three options, visual feedback, coaching, or a competition. You can find links to access these variables in the description below.